Welcome to Sanitations and thank you for turning, coming back to this latest edition of Chad Sports Talks where we take a dive in the world of sports. In case you know, my name's Chad and this is my week 7 NFL prediction slash preview video. That's right, it's time to do another uh, uh, pick and re prediction video to see how well, see if I continue my winning ways. Uh, last week with the shortened game. Uh, output I went 10 and 4 yeah, once again you know this you know pretty good decent start you know a lot of good team good games come kind of what what I didn't think and let's see if I continue on this particular trend uh, once again it's going to be shortened due to a number of, of teams on the buy this week there's no more traveling outside the US so they're all in the Estados Unidos and let's begin with tonight's matchup between the Denver Broncos and the Cleveland Browns. This is the injury bowl. Uh, the band-aid bowl. The broken bowl. You mean you call it whatever. There's a lot of people that are hurt in this matchup. Um, Baker Mayfield's not starting. Case, Case Keenum's in, in, in charge of the offense today for, or tonight for Cleveland. Um, him and Stefanski have a little uh, history. They were on the Minnesota squad that went to the NCAA championship game that couldn't get past New Orleans back in 2017. Um, there's no Chubb. He's out. Kareem Hunt is on the IR. Uh, OBJ, still questionable. Landry, still questionable. They're still missing some other uh, pieces on the offensive line. So that offense is banged up. So not sure what uh, toys they're in the cupboard for uh, Casey Keenum to be successful, especially against that Denver defense, which will be, you know, should be able to uh, rain some havoc on that offense. It's going to be misses, you know, missing those offensive linemen because that one kind of helped get the uh, Baker kind of hurt. But on the Denver side of the ball, Bridgewater is coming back from his and his injury, so he may not be 100%. And it's just one of those things, you know, who is going to win? I will put more faith on the Denver's defense than what Cleveland's. Cleveland's offense is, is um, not living up to the hype. Um, they coughed up what, four, over 45 points to the Chargers. And it was, you know, they let the Chiefs come back on them. So there's a lot of question marks on that defense as well. They're very, pretty inconsistent, especially playing teams that are actually halfway decent. And I have a sneaking in inclination that Case McKinnon will do good, but won't be enough, and the Broncos will edge out the Browns. Now we're going to head off to Nashville, where now the Titans, after their emotional win last week over the Bills, will play host to the Chiefs in their Swiss cheese defense. King Henry will have fun with this. The Chiefs can't stop a run to save their life. Uh, Tannehill will have enough uh, time to pick apart that secondary. I do believe Mahomes will be a lot better than he has been. Um, he's been throwing eight interceptions so far this year, which is two more than he had all last year. I think she's trying to do too much. And I think uh, once they, they wrap their head around, around that, and maybe have you know, the receivers hang on to the ball sometimes. There's a lot of these are a lot of these are tip passes as well, get picked off. So it, it's just trying to get the offense to start clicking the way they need to do. Um they should do better against Tennessee. But I still will have, you know, Henry going over probably 150 yards on the ground and making sure the Titans continue to win. Washington didn't head up to Lambeau Field, take on Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Remember, this is a Rodgers neighborhood, and he's going to own himself another NFL franchise, and the Packers will be too much for Washington. Cincinnati visit Baltimore. I think this was the game of the week. Uh, you got Joe Burrows versus Lamar Jackson. You get that Bengals offense taking on the Ravens defense. This is going to be an epic showdown between these two. And... The Ravens' defense has proven that they can handle some of these uh, prolific uh, quarterbacks and, and cause headaches, and I think they'll do the same thing against Cincinnati, and the Ravens will slightly edge out the Bengals. 
then Carolina will visit the New York Giants. The Panthers without McCaffrey are not quite the same. They have a one anything, uh, but the Giants are also missing some key pieces. You know, they're running back also out. So this is, I think, the Panthers will be able to go into MetLife and handle the injury depleted G men and walk away with a victory. Atlanta, Miami. This one is a very interesting uh, uh, matchup. Both these teams are struggling, but they do show signs of being uh, prolific in, in their their abilities to do what they need to do. The defenses have kind of been a, a 50-50 uh, uh, mixed bag of being able to contain certain certain uh, uh, teams, but then cough up big plays and then can't stop in you know, nosebleed. Matt Ryan will be able, be able to out-duel Tua and escape Miami with a victory. Jets and Pats in, in Foxborough. This is like one of those classic games where the Jets are just uh, outmatched. You have, you know, Mac Jones taking on Zach Wilson. I mean, two rookie quarterbacks. But Mac Jones has a better offensive scheme. This team's a lot better. That defense for New England is pretty good. Give the Cowboys some fits in the red zone, so... I would say that uh, the Pat Stallings of the Jets would continue. Uh, Zach Wilson's uh, torture tour of the NFL will continue. And New England will get right back on t- on track. Now, Philadelphia now visit uh, Las Vegas. The Raiders have uh, gone over that little hump of changing head coaches already. Got that win in mile high. Now they come home and host uh, Jalen Hurst. And this Eagles team, once again, it, it's oh something about the Philadelphia franchises. They're just so hard to kind of predict, kind of figure which way they go, because they have the off, you know, some key pieces on offense to help Jalen Hurst. I mean, they have shown some brilliance in, in driving uh, that defense. Like once again, it's a kind of fifty-fifty mixed bag. And the Raiders, um, if they continue the way they did against Denver, they should be able to get the victory over Philadelphia. Lions and Rams and SoFi. This is uh, epic on so many uh, uh, levels. Matthew Stafford used to quarterback the Rams. Jared Goff used to quarterback the Rams. Now they're on opposite teams. And Matthew Stafford is having a very excellent season and Goff is just struggling. Um, it could be just because their their locations and what they have. But I just see uh, Stafford is going to be able to uh, blow out his former former teammates, and the Rams will will right their ship and continue to stay stay on pace with the Cardinals in the NFC West. And speaking of the Cardinals, they're playing host of the Texans, so JJ Watt is now taking on his former team. Andre Hawkins is taking on his former team, and it's not going to be close. Uh, Cardinals are just going to blow out the Texans. They remain undefeated. I mean, who saw that one coming? Who saw Arizona be undefeated halfway through the season? That is just ri- ridiculous. They have bought in that system. They got the right pieces. They got the right uh, vets to keep the, the young young guys in check. So you know, we'll see how, how far this, this team can go. Now we'll head down to Tampa Bay where the Bucks be hosting the Bears. And... I think Brady will struggle against that Bears defense because he normally does against good defenses. He doesn't perform as well. But that Bears off inept offense uh, will keep the Bucks and will, will, will allow the Bucks to win this game. I mean, this just that O line, like I said, is as strong as a wet paper bag. Uh, Justin Fields will find himself running running around, but it's just going to be too much time Brady and the Bucks, and they'll just. Be, get past the Bears then Sunday night you get the Colts heading out to Levi Stadium take on the 49ers uh, Jimmy G should be under center to replace the injured Trey Lance but I think the 49ers right now I I, I don't know um there's still a team I really think they can still you know do some damage but right now Carson Wentz is doing all the right things in Indianapolis so I'm going to give the edge. I'm going on the limb on this one and give the edge to Carson Wentz to leave 
Santa Clara with the W. And then Monday night, the Saints will visit the Seahawks. Uh, Saints kind of off their bye week, so hopefully they got their, their game plan switched up. Um, you know, if, if Winston can perform like, like he did that first week and a few other times where he's able to do what he needs to do to get the things going, uh, Thomas may or may not be back for them on, on offense. The defense can clean things up and they'll be, they'll be all right. But I believe being at home and way Geno Smith has played these past two games, especially against Pittsburgh, um, if he can, you know, keep the eyes on the back of his head so he doesn't have anyone sticking up behind him to punch the ball out. But I foresee Geno Smith getting his first victory as a Seahawks starter. Well, those are my picks. It's a short week. Yeah, yeah. Since we have quite a few teams off this week, so we'll see how well I can do. See if I can get maybe, you know, three losses this week. Hey, that'd be, you know, pretty much right on par, I think, what I've been doing the past two weeks. And let me know which game you're looking forward to see. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, some interesting matchups in here, especially the reunion game with the Lions and Rams. You know, tonight's, you know, Band-Aid Bowl. You know, does Geno Smith get this first, first victory? Does Jared Goff get revenge on his former coach and teammates? There are so many different storylines this week that let's make things interesting. So just leave a comment and let me know what you think. While you're there, go ahead and smash that thumbs up for me. Give me a like. You can also subscribe. Once you subscribe, you can hit that bell notification. Until next time I post a video, and I'll see you next time on Chat Sports Talk.